Hi, I'm Noah. This summer my wife and I are having twins. Due date's in July. It is just like my kids to make me wait almost a whole year for my first Father's Day. Once again, we're going to talk about names. We are not telling on any of the names that we're considering, but we are getting closer. But it's an arduous process. I mean, we'll, we'll find a name that we really like, and then we'll pencil it in, and then a few days later we'll get cold feet and, you know, out comes the eraser. I mean, okay, sure, you can call us indecisive, but you have to be really 100% sure about this. I mean, if Hamlet were a play about a guy trying to name twins, it would have been even longer. I envy parents who name their child Aaron. I mean, it's like they just open up the baby naming book to the first page and say, Yep, sounds good! But the thing I actually want to focus on the most right now is nicknames. When I talk to a lot of not-yet parents, they'll say that they like a name but not its nickname. They'll say something like, I like Gabriel, but not Gabe. Yeah, your kid's gonna get called Gabe. But it's not up to you. Nicknames kinda just happen. And, and, and some names just always get shortened. I mean, yes, I know Davids who are not Daves, and Michaels who are not Mikes, and Elizabeths who are not any of the hundreds of possible nicknames for Elizabeth. But every single day of their lives, they meet somebody new, and they tell them their name, and then the person assumes that they go by a nickname and calls them by that, and then they have to say, like, oh, actually, you know what, I really only go by Robert, not Rob, and then the person they met thinks that they're a jerk. Are you a jerk for wanting to be called by your full name? No, not at all. But nonetheless, actual jerks will think that you are one, and it must be kind of tiring to have to play out this little mini-drama every single day of your life. By the way, the only name I can think of that is always shortened is Samuel. I have never met a Samuel who didn't go by Sam. The flip of this nickname dilemma is, of course, parents who want to give their child just the nickname and not the full name. But, of course, the problem you're going to run into then is people who assume that your full name is something that it's not. And occasionally you're going to have to say, oh, could you make this check out again? My name is actually just Pam, not Pamela. But I think the more common problem is that we sort of associate nicknames with being for children and full names with being for adults. I mean... A five-year-old girl named Katie is kind of cute. A 70-year-old woman named Katie seems kind of desperate. By the way, it's easy to do this by accident. You know, give your child a name that you think is a full name, but it actually turns out to be a nickname. I mean, take a name like Margaret. Now, probably everybody knows that Maggie and Meg are nicknames for Margaret. Well, did you know that Molly and Peg are also nicknames? You did? Okay. Did you know that Greta is a nickname for Margaret? You did? Okay. How about this? Daisy. Daisy is a nickname for Margaret. Sorry if I just blew your mind. But, you know, I suppose some adults manage to make nicknames work. I mean, I remember when someone pointed out to me that uh, all the candidates for president and vice president in 1996 were named Al, Bill, Bob, and Jack. Four men with incredible power, incredible resumes, and not a grown-up name among them. I'm really fascinated by nicknames because there's really nothing you can do to shorten my name. I mean, what are you going to shorten Noah to? No? Yeah, I don't think so. And also Amanda. She's never gone by any nickname, which is kind of unusual for a person with a three-syllable name. Not that really there's any good nickname for Amanda. Oh, well, except... I never realized how happy you made me, oh man. Good luck getting that out of your head. And 